guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna go over Pulse X, how to use the swap feature on Pulse X. It's really basic, it's really simple. The reason being is I'm always running into people that are always saying, it's too difficult. I don't know how to use Pulse X. That's not very user friendly. I mean, you gotta download some stuff or something like that and onto your computer and uh, it, it's not user friendly. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing on there. Guys, it's really simple. Let's get into it. Okay. Pulse X, this is the first, the main DEX developed by the same developers as Pulse Chain. This, I wanna show you this, this DEX here. Over here on Pulse, Pulse X, this is a truly decentralized DEX, all right? Let me show you this. Now, on the main page, you can see there's some information here you can go over, you can read through here as well, but we'll go over and we'll click on where it says trade Okay, the app.pulsex.com. If you wanted to bookmark any page, well, it would be the other page that we're just on, pulsex.com, or this one here, app.pulsex.com. Okay, don't bookmark, and don't bookmark the next page that I show you here, bookmark this page, okay? Because you're gonna wanna come to this page before you go to this next page that I'm gonna show you here right away because truly decentralized. Decentralized decks being that this is it. You could either run it from your desktop, download this right here. You'll download this file onto your desktop and you could use this, use this from your desktop. That's what I mean, it's decentralized. Now you have control of use of the decks, right? You're, you're using it that way. It's not shut down. Nobody can shut it down. It's on your desktop, right? That's pretty cool. Or if you want, you can just use it uh, by clicking right here on this button here, and that will allow you to use this DEX on the cloud. I know I, I've mentioned this because a lot of people have mentioned stuff like, oh, I don't know how to use this. It does Pulse X. I got to download it onto my desktop. I got to download that stuff. Like, what the heck? That's not very user friendly. Well, you're watching this video, right? Does this look really hard? As I go through this, ask yourself, is that really hard? No, it's not. It's really, really simple to use. You have the choice to download this to your desktop and truly utilize it as a decentralized DEX that way. Or you could also just click this button right here and you see this, it just automatically just brought you right over here into the app just like that, okay? Really simple. Was it hard? No, because you didn't have to download anything. All you had to do was just click your mouse on the button and it brought you right over here to the app, right? Just like this. Now you could use it. Now this one is really simple, okay? There's not a whole lot of other stuff in here to mix you up. Really simple to use. Over here, you know, if you can look at the chart right here in the middle too if you want, right? But over here, you're going to then connect your wallet, okay? Right here or right here. So we'll just click right here and connect our wallet. So now here we are connected. You see that I like, this is what I like about Rabi Wallet, you guys, is it just connects me and it senses, it tells, it, it knows what blockchain I'm on by the decks that I'm on. Unless sometimes I do want to switch, then I can manually switch it in Rabi. But you see that it just, I mean, this one here is only operating on Pulse Chain. So it just says, okay, you're on Pulse Chain. You're using the decks that's on Pulse Chain. I'm switching over to Pulse Chain in your wallet. And it's like that. So over here, really simple to use. This is what we're gonna do is first show you over here, this star right up at the top, this wheel. This is the settings wheel again, remember, right? Well, we can click on this settings wheel and that will bring our settings up for changing the slippage right here, okay? And then your transaction deadline right here. Auto router, this will just keep it automatically selecting the, the route in that, right? As well as the, just keeps everything automatic. If you wanna switch over to, to expert mode, you can just click on this right here. It's really simple to use this. You can change your, your slippages to 0.51 or 0.5%. I often keep it on the expert mode, okay? Like this, turn it on. And you see, this is the pop-up that I'm talking about here where it will ask me to confirm when I'm doing a transaction, if I want to accept the higher slippage, okay? In fact, I'll just cancel this out here right now just to keep it on here and we'll go through this. So when you want to, Pulse Chain again now is using the PLS token. So if you go over to Pulse Chain, you need the PLS token in, for the gas fees on this DEX, all right? Or on anything on Pulse Chain that is, right? It's the how you pay for gas fees. So on the top, this is how you were to talk, uh, switch or you choose your token that you have, make, you know, usually it's gonna be your PLS, okay? And then you wanna to swap to another token down here. You select right here and you can select your token, search for it, or you can paste the contract address right here, okay? 
and then you can enter your amount. We'll go like this. So now it's fetching the best price. It's showing me the information down here, the network fee, the price impact, trading fee. It's showing me all of this information. Here's the route. It's just it. Basically, that's it because it's just a DEX, right? Aggregators will have more of a route, and you'll see that in the aggregator video, okay? But this is it. And another thing here is it works the same way in all the DEXs too, by the way, is this arrow right here. If you are wanting to swap from PLSX to PLS, well, you see this arrow right here. When you put your mouse over it, it gives a up arrow and down arrow. All it does is it switches the positions. See this? That's it. It's simple. And do that all in the, on the other DEXs too, because it, whatever you want to swap from is on the top and whatever you're swapping to is on the bottom. Okay, so you're going from PLSX to PLS, going from PLS to PLSX. Okay, so that's how you switch these back and forth, just like that. Really simple to do. Okay, so that's PLSX. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I really wanted to show you on how to use these DEXs. I hope it really makes sense and I really simplified it here for you.